Good morning, John. Happy birthday. I sent you your birthday present, and you sent me a picture of you wearing it. I'm really glad that you like it. You're a stunning 41-year-old man. And I guess that's like middle age, but who cares? What does that matter when you have done so many wonderful and great things? I'm proud of you, John. So I wanted to create a special video just for you to celebrate your career by presenting to you your life as decided by the hive mind. These are the top 10 GIFs that came up when I searched for your name in Twitter's GIF search. Number 10, doing that giant squid of anger. Cause John, you're mad sometimes. This might even show up when you search for anger. So there's probably lots of people who are just posting this angry nerd and don't even have any idea who you are. Number nine, likewise from the same video, even a captioned gif. This one is probably used by people who are angry on the internet. But a quick shift for number eight, you doing your happy dance which I, we don't see enough of these days. Not because you aren't happy, of course, but because you're old and it hurts to move too much. Number seven, you're angry again. Though to be clear, this I don't think has anything to do with you. I'm guessing it has something to do with the internet. Number six, now you're frustrated. Uh, but I'm gonna give this GIF 10 out of 10 because I know that you actually injured yourself while filming this and I admire that dedication. Number five, no. A little bit. This is great because maybe people are introducing a little bit of nuance into their internet discourse and they're using you to do it, John. No, but yeah, maybe some. Number four, sarcastic party popper. I can see why people might use this one, but it's kind of a shame since there are so many legitimate, enthusiastic party popping moments in your career. And only one sarcastic one, but that's the one the internet picked up on. But it is a really good chaif, so I can't complain. Number two, 10 out of 10, I love this Guff. And I want there to be a database that shows me every time this garf was used because I want to see why people are using it, but I do love it so much. The fact that this is number two, it kind of restores a little bit of my faith in the internet, John. And finally, number one, the top John Green goof on Twitter. It's you sniffing your own book, which has now once again destroyed my faith in the internet. What's going on? Why are people using this? Why is this good? I, what's happening? Is this what you people want? That's actually pretty good. Of course, I gotta hit you with some honorable mentions. Uh, these days, very useful GIFs. Uh, this one, Congress. This one, surprise Putin. That one actually has audio if you use it right. Yeah, Putin! Anytime you do something dumb, it's high points in my book. And of course, this one where you're scared of squirrels. I love it so much. John, what a wonderful and wide ranging life and career you have had thus far. And I'm sure that there will be many more jerfable moments for you in the future. I am very nearly on my way to VidCon Australia. Ha! There's still tickets available if you'd like to see me or a number of other very cool creators. We had a super great, memorable, special VidCon in the US this year, so I'm super excited to go have more of that in Australia. And then in February in London. And we also just finished the PodCon Indiegogo campaign two days ago. And I mean, if ever, I don't know if anybody's ever gotten closer to hitting the goal without hitting the goal, but $299,569 is a win for me. I think we can make up the difference. PodCon tickets are on sale now at podcon.com. You can find the links to all those things in the description. John, happy birthday, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah, Putin!